Hey guys, what's up? Crafty Sheep here with a brand new series called Sally Face. I'm really excited about it. I watched Shaq Septicai play the series and I always wanted to play it, but it was only available on PC. So everybody go down into the comments and thank Dorian RPG, the hubby, for getting it for me. He figured out it came out on Xbox and he got it for me, so I'm stupid excited. So we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna start with a new game. Okay, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. I did record this episode before, but the audio and stuff was all in sync and it glitched out halfway through the recording. So we're just gonna start over. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Phone's ringing. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. It sounded like my dad. Okay, it's dark in here. I'm gonna turn on the lights. I, I, like I said, I did play this, uh, I did play a little bit of this before, and I've watched Jack do it, so I kind of have a good idea of what I should be doing, but I'm still excited. I'm not gonna remember everything anyways. So we're gonna push it. A key. Okay. Have a key so we can get out of here. Uh, so, those of you, you who didn't notice, there was a picture of a dog on the wall in the room back there. And that's the key to this little puzzle. There's just lettered doors. You gotta spell out dog. Funeral. Who's your good doggy? Who's your good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. I'm nervous. Down in the hole we go. Um, also, I'd like to state for the record that I'm not very good at voices. So, I'm going to attempt a couple, but not everybody's going to have a unique voice. I always tried to make Sal's voice soft. Mostly because I think that's the way Jack played it, because he thought Sal was a girl. I'm forgetting. Sal is actually male. Okay. I wonder what happens if I just hit random numbers. It still breaks, so it doesn't matter what number you put in. Okay. Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. This is your fault. Mom? Are you... And that was when I woke up. Hmm, yes. It's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which... which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Episode 1, Strange Neighbors.
this will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Let's go bug Dad immediately afterwards. Because he said to go do something else, so I'm going to come and bug him. Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? It's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. Aw, that's nice. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud. Please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. I miss Mom. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. See ya. Try not to get into too much trouble. Gizmo! I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. And my gear boy. I was wondering where that was. Anything in the kitchen? Let's check the bathroom. Dad still has trouble sleeping right after, after Mom died. Oh, nothing there. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Alright, let's explore the building. I think we're on floor four. Yeah. Alright. Anybody home? No one's home. It's the elevator. Oh, it's a cop. Hello. Dot, dot, dot. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram! I don't get paid to babysit. Wow, oh, he's a dick. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. Aww. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought, stupid weirdo kid grumble. <laughs> that makes me laugh every time. Alright, well, screw you, buddy. Let's check the fifth floor. Notice, this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll check it out. Okay, that's locked. That's locked. That's locked. Ha-ha! Victory. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir? Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? I don't think he's okay, kid. What the? And he's gone. There's a knock from the bathroom. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Okie dokie. And I need like a crowbar or something for this. Gotcha. Alright. Let's go to floor three. Oh, 
Hi, lady. Hey. Oh, my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here, I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may have heard from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do the others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't s sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff, focus on what makes you happy in this life, put your energy into that. I love Lisa. She's awesome. So do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison Apartments for a long time, and i never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. See ya. Alright, anybody in here? Nope, nobody's home. Can't go that way. Let's check floor two. I hear sawing. Hmm, I guess nobody's home. No one's home. home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building and I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. It's Charlie. I remember Charlie. Yeah, okay. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. The hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Oh, oh, I know. You young teens, new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. <clears throat> Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Okay. So... Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen an awesome collection. Yeah... Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. 
Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it's nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. Um, can I look at your collection? Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? <laughs> He's so shocked. My god, child. Have you never seen my glitter pony's rainbow spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Mm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Should I give him a little bit, like, of a nasally tone? Alright, so... That's everybody on two. Let's go to one. I know, I know. We gotta go see Larry in the basement. We will. I just want to do a thorough search. There's a lot of questions in this game that are left unanswered for me from watching Jack's playthrough, so I want to try to discover as much as I can. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Da da da. Err. Stupid good for nothing kids, Grovel Grovel. I, I think I gave her the same voice as the cop. Sorry about that. No one's home. Mr. Addison. Oh dear, what a frightful, uh, pardon me, let's start over. Okay. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? Oh, I don't know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no! I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Okay, later, Mr. Anderson. Anybody else? Nobody's home. Oh! What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Is it murder? I can't talk about that. Bye! So long. Okay, let's go see Larry. In the basement. Washer and dryer. Gee, I'm sure looking forward to using this. Not. Nothing else. Snack machine I never get to eat out of. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. Alright. Anything in here? Anything in the bathroom? Nope. Nothing in the bathroom. I, I kind of knew that was coming, but it was still unnerving. What the hell was that? That was a uh, demon. Yep. Demon written all over it. Okay, that's Lee. That's Larry's room. Mom's room. Lisa. Okay. Let's go meet Larry! Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry? Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey. Come on in. Door's open. I'm trying to give him, like, a stoner tone. Whoa, nice mask. 
I think it's a badass mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you like have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned up to the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Ha, huh, that's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats, but I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with a maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bad cave. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so... Huh. <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I, I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. They have to really get the movie. Keep headbanging with you guys. I'm gonna try to speak up a little bit over the music. Let's just rock out. Doing what I just said I wasn't gonna do. But I don't get. <clears throat> what happened in 403? Shh. Not so loud, man. How could they hear us over the music? What? What is it? The killer's still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? Just trying to talk over this music. I'm sorry, it's funny. Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with the clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. You, you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. <laughs> So, what's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He know owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. 
He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say add in some tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. There's gotta be more to this. Huh. What's this thing? That's a police scanner. I can listen to my local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some evidence to show that detectives something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for a break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. I've been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then, I can give you a heads up once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with arm robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this and head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press the Y button there to call me. Okie dokie, let's go up to our room. Oop, wrong way. Nope. How many times am I gonna pass the front door? So from here, we're supposed to call Larry on the walkie-talkie, and he's going to call the cops on the police scanner and run them off so that I can go get some evidence from the crime scene. So, we're going to do that next time on Sheep Play Sally Face, or Sally Face with Sheep. I don't know, I'll come up with some kind of name. But that's going to do it for the very first episode. Um, really excited. Having lots of fun. Again, everybody thank Dorian down in the comments. Um, but that's going to about do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. You stay tuned and stay crafty. Bye!